so I was thinking about it, and a lot of people don't make the distinction between white wine vinegar and white vinegar. And the difference here is is that white vinegar, I assume, just like a lot of things, has just been treated with a bunch of like standardized bleach of some sort. <laughs> and then just industrially filtered maximally so it's just like a vinegar substrate that's clear whereas white wine vinegar is the vinegar from um white wine grapes like the really pale ones that aren't even green which don't have much taste and are very astringent if you wanted more of a taste i guess you'd use green but that's up to product designers choices i mean i like to try it i like to try different types of grape vinegar well, they, you know, we'll see what happens after this video, I guess. Listen, if you're addicted to bleach, I would just put some sort of fruit bleach in there, like sweet monk fruit bleach or something, because everybody's addicted to sweet things, too. I mean, now that I think about it, I guess you could use grape monk fruit bleach to distill it if you wanted to out of, like, sorry, grape bleach to distill, like, the erythritol from it to distill the white wine vinegar into just white vinegar but it's also white wine vinegar if you know what i mean because it's from white wine grapes but it's also yeah. you're distilling it into bleached but through the process of the grape bleach erythritol that would be healthier but that would still be bad so how about you just do you know what i said before